Hello fellow gamers, my name is Bortas and this is response to Zoran the Bear video Why are we so disgranded and burned out? Just like you Zoran and many other people, I'm tired. Not with the game itself, but with the fact that this game can be so much more. Please stay with me, I will try to explain. First something small, the changing equipment on the vehicles and the changing continents with them. This is one of the oldest little features that people were asking for. Why we simply do not get them the deconstruction option? Go to vehicle terminal. If you have vehicle and it's empty, you have option to deconstruct it for 50% of resource and pull new one. This solves both problems. Second, when I start playing this game, we have the facilities alert, like capture all biolabs. But now imagine that we do not have the biolab alert. We have biological warfare alert where every faction try to bully its own biological weapon. The rules of this alert are When it starts in the biolab, players can spawn special version of Sunderer. This Sunderer have only 3 seats, driver and 2 gunners. This Sunderer must be drive under the point in the tech plant and then when all players will exit the Sunderer it will be automatically deconstructed. First faction that will deliver 1000 Sunderers wins. There is no timer. This alone will create so much more fun than any other alert that we have currently. What players will do, start delivering the compound to the tech plant or they will ambush the other faction and then right prohibit them from delivering their sunders. Now since we have the continental lock this can be explanation for it. The faction who built the weapon have vaccine so they own the continent. Now let's change the name of the alert to nuclear one where you derive Sunderers from the amp station to the tech plant and we have completely new type of alert and it will play differently since those bases are in different places. This is not hard to implement, far simpler than Valkyrie since we have already all the assets. Going further, take one of basics of the resource revamp they, they wish to implement. Warp gate feeds smaller bases which nangits by invisible energy wave the only requirement is that the base is connected to the warp gate by lattice link. But now let's do little change. Instead of invisible automatic energy waves we have, every 10 minutes warp gate automatically spawn the robotic wasp in number equal to the bases connected to the warp gate. This wasp now travel from the warp gate to the bases where it is deconstructed near the ammo tower feeding the base switch 9. Wasp travel through the lattice links and have a resistance of flash. Now we have supply lines and they create logistic. We do not have to cut off bases with just attack the supply lines. Attacking the wasp near warp gate have meaning, cutting the supply lines have meaning, making a ride deep into enemy territory have meaning. And this game desperately needs meaning. I can go for hours about stuff that can be added, that can be changed for the better. I'm playing for the year now. I not even once saw the content that made me think this will be awesome. I played this game for more than a year and I see how much better this game can be. And this is why I'm tired. And so we, I do not believe that they will deliver the game I hoping so. I do not see even that they have a vision of this game. They comment about stat padders but do nothing about people logging to faction just to team kill people. t -Ray is designing the Empire specific Baki for the greatest military force in history around sports car. I get this for the NC buggy, but TR should be the military faction. They are the army. Why their buggy is not designed around some true military vehicle? Now and see which their vanguard start more resembling true army than TR. Uh, I'm really tired of this stuff. And I do not see the light on the end of tunnel. Thank you for your time and please comment what do you think about this topic.